life has really, really been different for me. I had a learning disability when I was a child. They didn't know what it was at the time, so, and I was big for my age naturally, so they just thought I was a big dummy. I was very dyslexic. I couldn't read or write when I got out of high school. But somehow I got into college. I got through college. Always wanted to teach and coach. I was able to do that. Of course, I couldn't make much money doing that back in the uh, 60s. My first teaching contract was $4,300 a year. So I, through a friend, got involved in wrestling. And very quickly, I went right to the top of the wrestling business, not really knowing much about it. I wasn't a wrestling fan. But the first thing I knew, uh, I was wearing a mask and running around Detroit in the Michigan area as a student as I learned the business. And then I took the, the mask off and I had this <laughs> lovely face and I became George the Animal Steel. And boy, I thought I was great. I mean, I, here I am, I've come over here, everything. I'm, I'm teaching, I'm coaching, I'm in the Coaches Hall of Fame in Michigan, I'm in the wrestling, the WWE Hall of Fame in New York. And boy, I thought I was something else. And it was all about me, 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 me. And then in 19, 89, I was stricken with a disease called Crohn's. I was told that there's no cure for Crohn's. They didn't know the cause of it. And that uh, eventually they would be chopping away my intestines until I ran out of intestines and then I would die. That's the doctors telling me that. I stayed very, very sick for 10 years. I fought the system. I got off of the drugs that the doctors were giving me and uh, some other things happened and I started getting well. In the process of getting off the drugs, drugs I actually died twice on the table at Cape Canaveral Hospital in, in Florida. Uh, they brought me back, so God bless the doctors for that. And when I finally got my feet on the ground, I said to my wife, we need to go church shopping. This is at 63 years old. A lot of the people that I talk to now in the religious circles have known God a lot longer than I have. What I found out when I went to church the first time, I told my wife, we're going to a, a Baptist church because when I was a kid, I had a lot of misconceptions from, from the church. So I was going to the Baptist church to eliminate it from our, from our choices. The first day I was there, there was like 2,000 people in the church and probably half of them were children. And I thought, golly, this is great. I, uh, I taught school all these years, I love children. So we decided that we might want to take another look at that church. But we weren't sure, because we were church shopping. The following Tuesday was 9-11. And like the rest of the country, we were in tears for a week and we went back to the same church, the Samaritan Island, uh, Baptist Church, uh, and uh, the military was there. I live on the Space Coast, right next to Cape Canaveral, where they shoot the rockets off and all this good stuff. So there's a lot of people there in, in uniform. It was like, wow, what's this all about? And we didn't get much farther in our church shopping. We kept going back through the ministry, got our attention. And about nine months later, my wife and I actually it was June 16th, uh, decided to give our life to the Lord. We were saved and then baptized on the same day. And what I found out from that is all the good things that happened to me was for a reason. Uh, it wasn't about me. It wasn't about Jim Myers doing anything. It was about the Lord Jesus Christ and God guiding me in a certain way, putting me on a certain platform that sometimes is an evil platform but making me very recognizable. You see, my real name is Jim Myers. Jim Myers was the coach. George Steele was the wrestler. So I like to say there was two people using the same body. From now on, the two people have kind of blended over the side, and this body, I hope, is used in every way by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what I'm all about now, and it's a great feeling. It's, I mean, we didn't get locked. I'm 67 now. And uh, so it's at the tail end of my life. My father was saved at an older age after an illness. I kind of thought, well, 
you get sick, you get old, it's hard to find God. I wish that I would have went a different direction a lot earlier, but thank God that those nails was put in Jesus Christ's hand for somebody like me that I could be saved. I just, uh, it's a real blessing and we're passing it on to everybody that we touch now. That's what we're all about. Thank you very, very much and God bless you.